what happens after the, the malhama? What do we do? Those of us who die are the lucky ones. I hope and I pray that I am one of the lucky ones. We die. Even if you die before the malhama, you are lucky. This is a nice time to die. This is a good time to leave the world. After the malhama, it's going to be a terrible world. Those who survive the malhama, I don't know how you're going to live. No sunlight. For I don't know how many days, no sunlight. But this is the message that we give from Islamic eschatology. And may Allah take these words of mine all over the world. That if you see, if you live to see the malhama, and if you survive the malhama, then Imran is saying to you, on the basis of the prophecy of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, if you are young enough and strong enough to fight, then make some preparations for your family and head for Constantinople. Wherever in the world you may be, give up everything else. Leave Indonesia. Leave Malaysia. No government can stand in your way. The followers of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam all over the world as soon as the malhama takes place are going to head for Constantinople because he said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam lataftahanna al-Constantiniya you will most certainly conquer Constantinople wala ni'ma al-amiru amiruha what a wonderful commander will that be of that army. And what a wonderful army that would be that will conquer Constantinople. But there are both in the Quran and in the Hadith indications that we will conquer Constantinople on the basis of an alliance with Orthodox Christians.